It all happened very quickly, as you're about to see. There is a clue, and perhaps you'll be able to pick it out. But in the meantime, we have a chilling account from an eyewitness. This guy just came in, boom, boom, and, and shouting, and, and bam. It was a quiet Monday afternoon, then suddenly during lunch hour, a violent smash-and-grab robbery by three masked men dressed in all black at Jewels by Allen and Irvine. Police say in under two minutes, about a million dollars in valuable jewelry picked clean from displays. And they just proceeded to break all the windows, all the, all the glass, and basically scooped up all the jewelry, put it in their garbage bins, and from what I've been told, it took a minute and a half. It felt like eternity to me. Really felt like 10, 15 minutes. One day later, the broken jewelry cases and sharp-edged glass, a reminder of what was taken the day before. The owner, Alan, still shaken, walked Fox 11 through his jewelry store Tuesday, which is located in a bustling shopping center on Michelson Drive. He was shocked at what had occurred. By the 12.30, when hundreds of people are here, and there's no parking space? I mean, that's just being brazen and just... Uh, even police officers couldn't believe it. On the surveillance, you hear the glass breaking and women screaming. We're told no weapons were brandished. But the terror of that 90 seconds as two customers and a manager dove to safety on the floor. And Alan and his partner scrambled. 911 was called. Police say what was unique about the case the robbers brought in tall, empty trash cans. The same M.O. was used in crimes in Ontario and Downey. Tuesday, still no suspects. Allen was philosophical. A lot of broken glass, a lot of jewelry stolen, but everybody's safe. Keep in mind, of course, those trash cans. Those were the big clue. Right now, of course, it's 10 o'clock at night. It is still busy. Most of the parking spots here in Irvine are taken. So you can only imagine what it was like at 1230 in the afternoon. Laura Diaz reporting live from Irvine. Now back to the studio, Alex and Christine.